This is probably a strange vlogging angle, but uh, <laughs> I thought I'd try anyway. So last week I was talking to you guys about... And since then I've made four group chats on Instagram with 32 people each, and they're all full uh, of people that want to do the hike across England from west to east. It's so cool, like we planned it all out and uh, now we're just waiting for a date. We don't have a date yet, but sometime in June, hopefully, if, if lockdown lifts a little bit. It's just so cool that like 100 people from around the UK, from Scotland, Ireland, Southern southern England, they all want to come up and do this do this walk with me. But since like speaking it's a reality, after having the idea since like January to do this, I then took the courage and did it. I made the groups. People, people still want to join us, but I, I want to try and keep the numbers below 100 if I can, because at the moment there's a lot of people that want to come. And yeah, we're just gonna go hike, backpack, camp out. Hopefully there's some dogs. Uh, I'm not gonna take Jas because I think that he wouldn't be able to handle a week of just straight walking. He complains when we go out generally. I'm not sure what it is, maybe he gets tired faster? Tired faster? Anyway, this tree is beautiful. I'll show you it when I bring the camera down. But yeah, since I just wanted to update, even though I haven't even posted this yet, uh, I now have over 100 people that want to do that walk. It's crazy, I'm so excited. Get to meet some of you guys finally again. Been, it's been a long time since I've done any kind of group activities. <laughs> and also, I have a car lined up. I haven't driven in three years a car, and now I have one ready. So I just gotta go pick it up. It's in England, and uh, I spent ages sitting at the angle up there. I was filming you guys looking down, which is really hard to do with this massive camera. It took me ages to set the thing up, and then the, after three minutes of talking, the camera battery just died. So it's been super windy for a few days, and uh, oh, flip this. This week's been a, been a mess. Basically, I, I spent two weeks on a video. It's called. It was a video about COVID, and I was comparing it to a TV show that I watched called Utopia. I made the video. I had people researching it with me to help me do it faster, and then I post it, and uh, it got copyright striked three times. So, three people. Well, three three of the same company claimed claim my video. They said it wasn't viewable in a few countries, and one of those countries was the UK. So anybody from the UK could not watch my video that I posted yesterday on the main channel. Even after I spent two weeks working on it, I was so bummed. And also all the monetization goes to that company. So I dis dispute it, I'm sad all night, wake up like still frustrated I guess. Wrote a little Instagram caption that I can I can now change because I've lost my train of thought. Okay, I realized as I'm editing this I didn't actually say what I was trying to say. Basically the Utopia video on my main channel, it's now available for everyone to watch. They agreed that it was fair use and the company allowed me to publish the video publicly again. It killed the views, whatever views it might have got, it killed it. Go enjoy the video anyway, link is down below. And I can also put it in the screen up there in the top corner. Uh, I came out to hang out with my sister in the sun. It's been windy for a few days and it's finally nice. Yeah, we're, we're outside in the sun, enjoying. Got a few of our friends together. And it's nice to see people again. I know lockdown hasn't officially been lifted, but people are, people are just doing whatever right now at this point. Because it's been months, it's summer's here. I don't know anybody that's caught it, so. Schmeckle Weagle. Oh yeah, we're down at this park by the beach and um, this wonderful tree is here. It's a huge tree, it's, it's really beautiful, like I'll show you it. So you, you come up this giant branch here, walk along it, and then you're up here. I want to come back here with the GoPro so I can do some like POV stuff, I haven't done that yet. Maybe that can be my project this week, just do some POV tree climbing. Oh yeah, it's so nice. It's covered in moss as well, so it's really cozy. So I'm in the middle of the middle of the city at the moment, and it's quite a busy park. Like there's a lot of people here. Um, well, I say a lot. There's like 20 people here, <laughs> but groups keep walking past, and no one looks up. I'm maybe 15 feet off the ground. No one's looked up here really. Uh, one girl tried to climb it, and then she realised I was up here and kind of scurried away like a crab. But I, <laughs> other than that, people just aren't paying attention. I'm like smiling at them, ready for them to turn around to be like, "Yo, what's up, other human? Good to see you outside." Like, I walk through the city, the nearest city that I live to, nothing. Like, the shop window's boarded up, no people out, it's a Sunday afternoon, in the sun, there's nothing. There was like a couple cars, some taxi guys standing around joking and stuff, like, it's so strange. There's nothing going on. There's very few people out. Hey, Jas. <laughs> Jas was just running around, he's like having a great time. You found anything fun? Jas. I lost him again. Uh, so what I wanted to say was uh, I spoke some, a, an idea into, into reality and now it's like coming about. I'm very excited. 
And this is the first of many, I think. I want to do stuff like Snowden, the Himalayas, like all sorts of stuff, Switzerland. I want to do like big group hikes in different countries. People are asking me to come to America and to do some of these. And like, yeah, I'm down. I'm actually down to come back. It's been many years since I've been in America and I am down to come back. At the moment, I'm kind of chasing videos. So I'll go wherever I can make something interesting. I'm planning a lot of stuff for when restrictions kind of ease off. And now that I've got the car again, Oh, I was talking about a car before my camera died earlier. Uh, this this vlog is just going to be a, a stream of consciousness. Um, just word farts. A friend of my mum used to live with us, and she has gone back to Australia, and she left her car in England, and she's saying that she's insuring it for me, and I can use it while she's away. It's an automatic car as well, because I really dislike manual cars, and uh, I'm very excited to go get it. The reason I stopped was I didn't want to drive again until I could afford an electric car, because I believe that I'm just doing more harm than good driving a petrol car everywhere. So that's why I stopped originally. I got rid of all my cars, my American ones, my British ones. Since then I've only done like motorbikes, uh, well, scooters. And that's, that's about it. I've been walking, doing a lot of hiking really. I'm just sticking to my feet. Uh, Jess was in a swamp. Nice. So yeah, now, now the weather's really good and I'm caught up with my edits. I've still got a few to do for the second channel, but my main channel is up to date now. I'm, I've done all the stuff I wanted to do. Now. I can speed out content faster because I've got no big projects lined up. So I want to kind of do daily vlogs, just just like daily, daily stream of consciousness. I'm just going to say things to myself, but out loud, share ideas, and um, get into a few conspiracies that I'm into here at the moment. Do some POV tree climbing, all that kind of stuff. Like whatever I get to up, get up to day to day, I want to make it into a short video. I used to do this. I did this last last time. I did a month of this. I did in June 20 like 16. Before I was going to go to Asia for the first time, I did a month of vlogging beforehand and then I vlogged the whole time I was out there. So I did a, video, a 30 day straight and um, I want to do that again for this channel because this channel is my, like, my throwaway kind of my backpacking channel. Like I've done so much backpacking on this channel that you've seen me go to many many countries. If you're new here then uh, check my old videos on this channel. I've been traveling on this channel for like five years straight. Everything's documented. Everything, absolutely everything I've done. And uh, yeah I just want to do more while I'm here in the UK like <laughs> I'd like to push out a video every day. I want to get better at editing. Jack from Duke Squad, he kind of inspired me to get into editing because he really enjoys it. He's been doing it every day for like 13 years and he's good at it and he's fast. And I want to be able to produce content on a, on a speed that he's doing it, at a skill level that he's doing it. So yeah, I want to edit every day basically is what I'm saying. Editing's the part that I just dislike the most about YouTube, but I, there are times when I do like it. So I just want to get back to kind of that. Anyway, I'm going to go hang out in the sun some more. Uh, I'll make this into something tonight, so you can watch it. Uh, I'm not going to be holding footage anymore, because this is what happens, and then I do file dumps, and I don't want to do file dumps, I want to do vlogs. They make more sense. By the way, I ate a gummy edible, and I haven't had any weed for a couple months, and it's kind of kicking in now that I'm up this tree, so I just hope that I can get down the tree. That's probably why I want to talk so much. Hmm. What is in that pocket? <laughs> Even though... Hey, sort of. So you know you lost it, and you searched that pocket a million times. Yeah, yeah. Go. We found a new trail. We're following it to the beach. It goes through the woods. And I know the trail from the other side, but I've never tried it on this side. And yeah, it's really nice. Took us a while to find it. We had to go down across a bridge towards a castle. And then we went around the castle wall, went down onto the beach, and then there's a hole in the castle wall. So now we're on the property of this like big castle. Uh, I've done plenty of vlogs there. You guys have definitely seen it. But now we're on the beach side. And this path goes all the way through the woods. It's very nice. Very nice and needy. I feel like if I make a video every day in June, cause that's a good time to start. Be the first of June. Do 30 days of it. See if I like it. See if I can continue for the rest of the year. I would love to do a daily vlog. Sometimes it's just not manageable because I'm out in the woods. Don't have a computer. But yeah, I've been doing trails like this. Um, the whole lockdown, the whole time I've been back in the UK I've been doing trails like this on my own because I haven't been hanging out with anybody and I'd love to just kind of bring you guys along and show you beautiful trails that I go on and uh, yeah when the lockdown lifts up I can bring people on these trails show them all these spots anyone that's interested And we made it to the beach. Very nice. Little island out there. Let's go. In. Made it. Cool little band building.
He's really going for it. Don't drink it, Jess. It's salt. I want to go out there. But I don't know if, it, if I'll make it out there. He's sinking pretty deep. I'm sinking here already. Oh man. The moon is finally back. You wanna go swim? It's gonna be very loud, but uh, we found a swimming spot for today. For some reason, it's like spiking at 70, 70 plus degrees today. Like 70, 73 or 74, it's, it's so crazy. Anyway, we found a swimming hole. I'm probably gonna go in this bit here because it looks nicer. So uh, yeah. Okay, so everything you've watched this week is stuff I filmed last week. Basically, before I started doing daily posts, I was just filming a bunch of stuff. Now the weather's kind of like this, so I haven't really been outside and I've been able to edit, which has been great. But now I've run out of footage, and also all this stuff is happening in America, which is taking up all my brain space because I'm trying to process it and trying to help from this side of the, of the world. I've been collecting a bunch of footage for my main channel video all about it. I think the direction my main channel video is going to take is what we can do to de-escalate the riots and how to wreck undercover cops who are inciting riots. So usually what happens is they'll send in undercovers to pretend to be protesters and then start smashing stuff. And I've found a lot of footage that's kind of exposing cops for, for doing that. I'll give you guys some some advice in that direction. I don't know what other direction to take my video because everyone's already said everything. Like, of course racism is bad. Police brutality happens all over the world. How do we change it? Like, cops think they are above the law. That's why they get away with everything because they are above the law. Surprisingly enough, they are working with the courts and it's all like handshake behind your back kind of thing. I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video. I built this thing this week. It's quite fun to use. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I actually have to film something different tomorrow because I don't have any more footage left. How wonderful. This is where I get the most creative when I force myself into situations where I have to make stuff because I have deadlines. And uh, I have two channels that I'm running. So today I have to work on two videos, but it's fun. I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs. I'm trying to keep the quality consistent and, uh, well not consistent, I'm trying to get better each day. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Stay safe out there. I'll have a lot of info about the riots coming up on the main channel, so subscribe, turn notifications on. Uh, check out merch down below, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>